Hello. So this is the uh, this is the last I think big bench test uh, uh, video I'm going to shoot, and as promised, I do now have a uh, sharp sensor hooked up, and I have the uh, transmitter um, sending signals that allows it to switch between uh, RC control and autonomous control. Um, so let's go on down some code over here. Still have all the same stuff. I threw back in a uh, variable that we can use for each and every one of the channels that the RC transmitter uh, receives. I'm sorry, RC receiver receives. I threw in a variable here that's going to store the data from the sharp. I have hooked up the sharp to pin zero of the TNC 3.1. So I've defined it here, set it as a constant, and the sharp pin is going to be A0. Still have the servo objects, uh, including the DC motor speed control. Um, ultimately, even though I have a few more variables here, I didn't use them all. I'm only going to be using uh, four of the channels. Uh, one channel is going to be running the RC speed controller. Two channels, just for novelty, are going to be running two servos on this arm. And so that's going to be the speed control. That one is going to be a servo. This one's going to be servo. And this one is on this transmitter. Okay. There's a switch right here that we'd use for uh, retracting landing gear. I'm going to be using that to send a signal to tell it whether or not to be on autonomous or an RC control. And so that's the one that's going to be hooked up to pin 8, which is this one here on my RC. I think it's actually channel 5 on the RC. Uh, I've attached these uh, objects. I've attached the motors, the servos. I've started a serial. And I think the best thing to do is just jump down to the loop. Okay. So on the loop, keep in mind, I'm first thing, most important thing is, hey, am I autonomous or hey, am I running on RC? That's hooked up to channel four, okay? And it checks the pulse. If the channel is, but these retractable ones, these ones here that hook up just for a uh, uh, single function, digital ones, they uh, only send a signal that's maximum or a minimum, all right? So it's either going to be like 18 or 1900, or it's going to be about 1000 or 1100. So it's pretty easy. I've said it. So if it's less than 1500, then we're going to be in autonomous mode, which then means, in this case, we'll actually what we should do is I should show you the data first, just being printed. So let me. We're going to print the auto. Uh, information which I have right here which is going to be it's gonna say hey it's on full auto mode um, and it's gonna output the sharp value okay the sharp sensor value um, I should have even said that first thing it does it gets the sharp sensor value then it prints it alright so it jumps up there to print those two if it's greater than 1500 well then I need to be looking at my other channels of my RC uh, because I'm going to be running the dang thing. So it gathers channel 0, 1, and 2. And then it jumps up to the drive. Or, uh, well, let's actually, sorry. We're going to look at this, which is print first. It jumps up to the print RC. And print RC here. And it tells me, first thing it does is say, hey, it's under RC control mode. And it outputs those variables so we can see it. So I'm going to load it up. And let's open up a window so we can see. And so you can see it's currently on full. Uh, oops, transmitter's not on. There we go. Okay. It's on RC control mode. And so everything works just like you sort of would expect. Um, I can move the sticks. I can change the values. You can see that channel 1 went down. Channel 1 now went up. Okay, so everything seems to be working just fine. And if I flip the switch, okay, now it's on full auto mode. And now you're going to see that I'm getting data 
from my sharp sensor. So I move my hand closer to the sharp. The value, oops, you can't see that. Let me move this window over. There we go. All right, so as I move my hand to and from, I can change those values. So it drops down with the aim just at me. It's at 140. Put my hand close, 900, okay. So let's go ahead and close that. I'm gonna put it back on RC mode. Close that. And let's go ahead now and explain what happened. So it's gonna be looking, first thing, like I said, it's gonna look for that RC mode, which is gonna be that retractable landing gear switch. And before I forget, I'm gonna bring these guys and I'm gonna rim out the print because we wanna see it go. All right, so let's assume it's going to be on autonomous mode. It goes up to the drive servos auto subroutine. This one's actually kind of big, uh, but it's, it's, it's easy to understand. Um, what I've done here is I've set up a couple, I probably could have done this a little, little cooler, but this seemed fast and easy at the moment. If the sharp value is less than 150, it's gonna output uh, to these three servo objects a value of 1,000 microseconds. If it's between 150 and 350, it's gonna output 1,300. If it's gonna be between 350 and 450, it's gonna output 1,400. If it's somewhere around 450 to 550, it should basically stop, either center these servos or stop the motor. And of course, if it's 550 to 650, it's gonna put out these microsecond values, 650 to 850, these, and if it's greater than 850, 1800 microseconds for all of these. Um, if it's going to be going in RC control mode, okay, so that my channel four switch is greater than 1500, then it's simply going to gather the information from the other three channels, and it's gonna drive the servo's RC subroutine which is way up here. And now you see it's just going to output to these three servo objects, these three values, which it collected down here. So let me load it up. And we'll turn on some motors. All right, so I should hold this up so you can see. All right. So you can see I have my speed control is fine. I can move my servos. All that kind of stuff. Now I'm going to switch it to auto mode. And you can see that it's depending on the position of my hand, although sometimes you can see my hand. And then switch it back to RC mode. And voila, everything works. So I think I'm, uh, I'm ready now on this next step to uh, put this thing uh, in the Batmobile. And uh, we'll probably bench it uh, first to make sure it works and then take it outside. So I will see you soon.